Hello everyone. So in this video, I am going to uh, explain you the AC analysis. So for that, uh, I'll create one amplifier quickly. So uh, this is my library. In this, I'll again make a cell. Okay. So I'll give a name like amp. Okay, license. So quickly I uh, draw a single stage common source amplifier. Okay, so before connecting this, I'll make a ground and VDD connection. So for that I have a simple way to do this. So I press L for the labeling. So this is ground. I level it here. And this DC voltage I'll provide a zero volt. DC is zero volt. So that's how it become ground. So this ground I'll be using at various places. Next I'm going to make the VDD. So for that, copy this. Um. Okay, so I copy this VDD. And I provide the value to this VDD, say 1.8 volt. I'll use this VDD in the circuit. Copy and paste here. Alright, so since we have labeled this as ground, so we'll be using this ground, not this one. Okay, so I've labeled it. For this, just select and copy paste. Alright. And for better representation, I can rename it as VDD uh, 1V8 because I'm using 1.8 volt. So same thing I can copy it here because I need to provide VDD at this point. So copy this node. Now I need to uh, provide input and uh, indicate the output port. So quickly I'll provide some AC signal and as well as the biasing. Okay, so MOS has a four terminal. So this fourth terminal that is body should be connected to the ground. So I'll do that. Okay, I think the all connections are done now. I'll do the check and save. So one warning is there. Uh, that is because of this. We have kept it floating. So I'll add a probe here. Now if I do the check and save, it should be all clear. Yeah, it's all clear. There's no error, no warning. Alright, so now I'll do the AC analysis. For that, I'll go to the launch, click on ADL, yes, for the license. And here, if I'll go to analysis, 
there I can I have the option to choose the AC analysis so this is AC and I need to provide the frequency range here so suppose I want to see from let's say 100 kilo or say 10 kilohertz to um, maybe 1 gig and the sweep type is linear and I am giving some number of steps so around 1000 oh. just keep it 500 for now and ok so setup is done now we are good to simulate this Okay, so simulation is done. If I see, it is showing success. Alright, so now to see the output, I have the options results, direct plot, main from from main from I can plot and I have here directly AC magnitude AC magnitude and phase AC gain and phase and the AC magnitude in decibel so first of all I would like to see AC magnitude so I click on this to increase this ID I want to increase the W of this MOS because ID in saturation is R U N C O X W by L B G S minus P T H whole square to five micro. Check and save and run it again. So now ID is one point three milliamps. So it is taking a lot of current now. Now to plot the output I can click on result direct plot main from and I want to plot say voltage magnitude add to the output select net on a schematic so I'll select here. So you can see the output response here. So we were giving 20 millivolt as input and output is here if you see coming as 51 millivolt. So almost 2.5. So that's how it is coming for this particular amplifier. So I have not taken care much of the design. I have just shown you how to plot the output, how to do the AC analysis. I can also plot uh, from here like if I click on direct plot I have these things AC gain and phase so for AC gain I need to select output as well as the input terminal output and input so this is the gain actually so you can see gain and phase both are plotted so gain is this one and phase is this one so gain you can see it here how much it is coming in dB and this is the phase of this amplifier it started from 180 degree and reducing as the frequency increases so that's how we do the AC analysis thanks for watching